Hey everybody, this is Scott from InternetSafetyCenter.com here. Uh, today what we're going to do is we are going to look at Bitdefender Internet Security Suite 2010. So we, we, went, we went and already have gone out to the website here. And here's Bitdefender's website. And we are going to look at, uh, like I said, the Internet Security 2010. What you can do is they do have a comparison chart out here that will give you uh, a comparison of all the different versions. They have a um, they have a uh, antivirus, internet security, and a total security. We've looked at the total security versus internet security, and it does have a few options that are nice, but uh, you know we just couldn't exactly justify the extra thirty dollars in cost. Uh, we like the internet security suite just a little bit better. So, but it's just a nice comparison. Um, and their website, and then um, what they do is they do offer you a free trial. You can get it for 30 days. So we just went into products. We went to Internet Security 2010, and then we went to the 30-day trial here. And it's just a little uh, little installer file here that you uh, that they give to you. And then when you run it, it'll actually go ahead and bring down the application itself. Um, <coughs> So what we're going to actually do now is pause the video here. Uh, we just don't really see a need for you to sit there and watch this go across as it downloads the application and actually starts the installation. So, so what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and pause the video here. Once this actually gets installed and we actually get to the main screen, we will go ahead and pick the review up from there. So uh, we'll be right back, folks. <clears throat> Alright, we're back again here. Uh, here's the next screen that tells you you need to continue with the installation. So we're going to hit next and then we will agree to the license agreement. And again, we're always in, we're always in fancy just doing the typical install. So <clears throat> fortunately again, we're going to pause the video again uh, because now it's going to actually do the installation of it. We've actually just now downloaded the file and so now it's actually going to do the installation. So we're going to pause it again and get when we come back it'll be at the part where basically we'll start using Bed Defender. So we'll be right back folks. We're back continuing with the installation here. So we're just gonna now hit finish. And now it actually tells us we need to reboot the computer. So we'll go ahead and reboot the computer and again hate to say it, we're gonna pause the video and we will come right back. So hang on. Alright, we're going to continue with the installation here of Bitdefender. Uh, here's the configuration wizard. So you can do the typical parent if you want to uh, set up parental controls, which we will get into. You can set up the gamer functionality or you can do a custom. Uh, we recommend just doing a typical for right now. We're going to say this is part of a home network. And now you have three options of the kind of interface you want. You have a novice, intermediate, and expert. Uh, Novice is for those people who just want to set it and forget it, don't really want any, any, any interaction with it, just want it to actually go. If you do have kids and you want to turn on the parental controls, you will have to be a part of the in intermediate. You'll have to either go into here or you'll have to go into the expert mode. We're going to go into expert mode because we actually want to show you some options here. Um, I'm going to turn this quick scan off right now because we're going to look at a few things and then we'll run a full system scan. But we do like to run the system scan every day at 2 a.m. is by default how it set up it sets itself. So, so we're gonna go ahead and now look at the interface. As you can see, we also we had already installed malware bytes first, and the reason we did that is because we want to make sure there's no uh, there's no conflict like with another uh, uh, anti uh, anti malware anti spyware program. Uh, Unfortunately, we've noticed on all these internet security suites where they're all really good at detecting viruses and protecting your computer. Uh, when it actually comes to detecting malware, uh, spyware, and stuff like that, um, they're lacking. So, all right. Here we go. Here's the interface here. All right. So it kind of tells us uh, your account, last system scan, never scan files, and stuff like that. So this is just, we're going to go right down these tabs here. So you can go into the settings, you can actually enable it with a password if you want like that. 
Uh, you can show pop show pop-ups on screen notes and stuff like that and then you can also do system information where it actually collects everything about your computer uh, first we'll go to antivirus real-time protection is enabled which is what you want uh, it does enable anti-phishing for Windows uh, Internet Explorer Firefox Yahoo Messenger Windows Live Messenger which is really nice uh, and then for custom level we have default so it's going to scan all incoming outgoing email scan for viruses um, it's also going to scan, scan IIM traffic which is what we want and you can go into the advanced settings and you can go ahead and actually uh, change those if you want um, so the anti-spam is enabled we do want it to moderate to aggressive again you want it right in that 80 percentile range to 90 percentile you start going higher than that and you start getting more and more messages you don't want actually into your spam folder so we do like it is enabled by default uh, privacy controls identity control is enabled registry control disabled cookie control disabled and script control is disabled we would recommend actually turning on uh, enabling script control we do kind of want to lock that down as we're starting to see more and more stuff come through especially like javascript and stuff like that so uh, here's the firewall it kind of tells you your computer name your IP address and everything else like that and it gives you some information of you know packets going in and out going of your computer and stuff like that and you can look at your network uh, of course trust level unsafe but that is it's, it's our network so we know it's okay some hidden rules you can look kind of activity of what's kind of going in and out of your computer and stuff like that so again fight this it's a good firewall um, average to above average at best uh, but uh, that falls right in line with some of our top uh, security suites like F secure and Caspersy and stuff like that so uh, the vulnerability check is another option we really like on this suite uh, the uh, critical updates is telling you it's outdated which we know we have not a I think we may have service pack 3 on this computer and that's, that's going to be about it uh, other Microsoft updates it actually does a good job of checking for like office updates and stuff like that it's also telling you it's actually outdated Windows Live Messenger is telling us it's outdated so it wants us to actually upgrade to the new one for uh, greater security and then we have our three accounts it says our, we have a weak password for our Internet Safety Center account and Jane and administrator account so so you know this is really nice we do like this um, so we do like how it's actually going to tell you that if something's out of date or something is wrong so uh, the encryption mode we do like the fact that again by default it is uh, turned on to encrypt Yahoo Messenger and Windows Live Messenger uh, which is what you want more and more people are communicating that way so you do actually want to have that turned on so <clears throat> next we have the gaming mode here uh, the gaming mode basically what it does is it'll actually shut down Bitdefender so it has the smallest footprint possible on your machine so when you're playing games you're not being slowed down and all you got to do is click there to turn gaming mode on normally it runs you know it'll use anywhere between 20 to 40 megs of memory somewhere in that range pretty consistently you turn gaming mode on and we've seen it drop down to about 10 so which is really cool and then you also have a laptop mode uh, if this if you are installed on a laptop go ahead and turn that on which is again it's designed to run with a minimal footprint it can't on the on the machine so longer battery life and stuff like that so okay next we have the home network if you had computers connected to it it would it would all be showing up here that's our wireless router then we're heading out to the internet so and then you have the update it tells you last when it was last checked when when it was the last updated um, what's its down it's downloading and stuff like that so and then you have the registration so alright so that's all we have for there uh, if you click on settings here Another box is going to pop up here. It tells you, you know, antivirus is enabled, vulnerability check, anti phishing, firewall, IM, encryption, uh, identity control, anti spam, and then you have the other options your gaming mode, password settings, and stuff like that. So you can also switch to the interface mode here by just clicking up here, switch UI. Uh, we, we can go to novice and our inter intermediate we're not going to show you those two we, you kind of saw those earlier so um, 
But we do like how it, it's, it's pretty basic right there, so. But, um, but again, this is the main screen here to bed defender when we get into the uh, expert mode, which is what we want, so. Uh, again, it's one of our top security suites, if not the best one out there we've come for. Come with, with detecting viruses, spyware, and overall computer performance, so. Alright, 